Hi, it's James from the Xire team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Xire's AI-powered duplicate search feature so you can save time and clean up your Lightroom catalog. Now, duplicate search can be used in two main ways, really. First, it can be used to clean up any unwanted image copies that you've created over the years, say, JPEGs that you've created for social media but no longer need, or duplicate RAW files that resulted from transferring images from the same hard drive at different points in time. Duplicate search can help you identify and manage these duplicate images. But second, duplicate search can be used to identify and group together similar images from, for example, a single photo shoot. That way you can quickly scan through to identify the best image out of a group of similar images, say with near identical poses and backgrounds. You can use that so you can quickly go through instead of having to painstakingly evaluate each file. Let me show you how this works. So first you want to make sure you're in the Lightroom library module. And you'll go here, library, plug in extras, and then search for duplicates. This brings up the duplicate search dialog box and as you can see there are a number of settings you can adjust to ensure you get the results that you're after. Now first you can choose where you want Xire to look for the duplicates. Do you want the whole Lightroom catalog to be searched? The Lightroom film strip? Or do you want to compare photos in the film strip to photos in the whole catalog? And then next you can choose the type of duplicate you want to find. If you select exact duplicates here, then Xire will identify images that are identical in every way the file contents, the file type, the file size, all of it will be identical. Now if you choose near duplicates here, you can use this similarity threshold slider to say exactly how strict Xire should be in recognizing duplicates. If you set the slider over here towards strict, you'll get images that are almost perfectly identical but with minor differences. For instance, the software might find a high resolution version and a low resolution version of the same photo. If you set the slider over here closer to loose, you'll end up with images that are similar but with obvious differences, such as, say, photos of a specific person in the same pose and the same environment but taken a few seconds or minutes apart where they've had time to, to move around a bit. And then finally you can choose the sequences or bursts option here, which tells Xire to identify and group together photos that are not necessarily visually similar, but that were taken within a certain time span, such as one or two seconds. And you can set the time span here uh, with this slider. So you can play around with these settings at the bottom, but they're really just about telling Xire to ignore certain duplicates, or how to collect the duplicate images. And once you're ready, just go ahead and click Start. Uh, here I'm going to, to just look through the film strip and find some duplicates. I'll, I'll, uh, I want near duplicates because I've, I've taken uh, some, some sets of HDR images, bracketed images, and focus stacked images, and I want Xire to find those. Now, it's worth mentioning that duplicate search can take some time to run if you search through an entire collection or an entire catalog of images. Since I'm only searching through the film strip, it was pretty fast here, and the result is that 26 groups of duplicates were found. Um, and as you can see, Xire has created these collections of near duplicate images. I can just quickly go through them. They're all displayed very easily, so I can go through, I could, uh, uh, group them together, put them in, in stacks if I wanted to, or I could decide uh, maybe I have a favorite from a set of similar images. I could flag those. I could delete the ones that I don't want to keep. And so basically, if, if your Lightroom catalog is cluttered up with duplicate or near duplicate files, this tool can be a real game changer. And it's also a great way, as I said, to identify similar images after a photo shoot and then quickly just select your best.